I thirst with such a terrible thirst to be loved by you in the most blessed sacrament. And this is really at the heart of our mission here as missionaries of our Mother of the Eucharist because we are so aware of Jesus' thirst for his bride, the church. Jesus' thirst for his bride to be receptive to his love and for his bride to thirst, to long for him in return. And so we're always praying for that grace of a stirring up of our hearts to be a receptive bride, to, to have a longing for our bridegroom. And then this is why for us, prayer is so key, as well as fasting. Fasting from anything that can keep us on more of a surface level of fulfilling our needs and, and not, not allowing us to have that deeper longing be always there, that deeper longing and need and thirst for God. Because all of us, deep down, we all have a thirst. We've been created with a thirst and a longing for the infinite love of God. And very often we are so not in touch with it. We're so not aware of our deeper thirst for God because so many things in the natural realm fill us and say to us in a superficial, superficial way. And so I encourage all of us to ask ourselves even now, do I have a thirst for God? Am I aware of my thirst for God? And, and to pray for the grace for a stirring up of that thirst, that we can live with that thirst constantly, that, that our whole beings can always be um, longing for more of God, more of God's love. Kind of like St. Peter said, that we should be as nursing children, nursing babies, longing for the spiritual milk, the spiritual milk of the Holy Spirit, that we should always be in that disposition of longing and thirsting for God's love and for communion with God. So may it be so, Lord. God bless you all.